I was gone for a minute, but yeah, now I'm back. Took a trip out of the heaven, had to go and talk with that. Oh, and now you on in the, I got you I got you on the camera for it, bro. We in Hanville. We in, we in Hanville. Let the show look at Mike back there doing his fart though. I ain't gonna say it on camera. Uh, I ain't gonna even do that to him. Mike back there doing his fart thing. Uh, I can't see this camera. My camera look I don't know if it's dirty or just just a phone camera looking like that. Look at that. Let me switch it. Oh yeah, that was a little better. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's a little better. You right got here. the selfie camera on. Mm. Look, look, look at Mike. Mike the twig. Mm -hmm. Mike the man. Why Jesus can't be the man? See what I'm saying? You always trying to get the Lord glory. Why you always, Mike? Why you trying to steal that from Mike? Mike, the sun gonna block. Mike, I can see you. Mike, the sun gonna block the That's right. So the sun, the sun, God, Christ, the sun, Christ, the sun, the sun, the sun gonna block. You block. <laughs> you bop. <laughs> we pulling up with the van for the hop out. About 20, 30. Oh, Truvon said they pulling out with the Hummers. <laughs> they ain't playing no he game. Go on he ready to go pick people up. Cry child on, on all platforms, y'all. Spotify, oh. music, Apple. Not just me, look. Mike the kid, too. You can see CCB it. A little bit. We're in, we in Hindville. Mike the kid. I don't know what you think going on over there. She said, who can follow that direction? Mm -hmm. Mike ain't raised his hand. So Mike can't follow directions. Katie okay, said, I raised my hand. Back here again. He was on the game still. He got these kids out there. Whoa. And then so they out today. Huh? Like a minute to outside of the hundred. You don't play the, you don't wanna play? Huh? You don't wanna play with the kids? We're back out here. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. What up, Mike? Mike the kid. David. You letting the people come out, huh? Yeah, wow. yeah I hear that remix. He likes his Nicky on that remix. Look. I got the police over there. What? Oh, I got the police over there. Mike. It's a video scene shot. Go ahead on and rap. What do you think? Like y'all was doing, come on, let your body come over here, come on. <laughs> all right, all right, I see y'all coming, come on. Outside the game truck, out the game truck. Yeah. Come on, put me in there, bus out, y'all. Say, if you love Jesus, say, yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's an honor to be back out here in Hinesville. It's Hinesville, right? Hinesville. Hi, it's Ketchum. <laughs> it's amazing to be back here with you guys. We had an awesome time last year, so when we got the call, it was no question that we was going to come back and fellowship with you guys. Y'all like family to us. I'm Chris Christ, Shaw Smith. This is my son, Mike the Kid. We, uh, we are CCB Music Ministries, and uh, we do gospel rap, Christian rap music. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm going to pass it on to Mike so he can tell you a little bit. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling out tonight? Good. Come on, y'all. We got it together to have fun. We ain't out here to, get, to celebrate each other. We out here to celebrate unity in Christ. Hey. Man, it's fun seeing everybody got it together, having fun. You know, we out here to stop the crime. We know we seeing a lot of uh, wickedness increasing these last days. How many of y'all know that the word says in John 10, 10, for the thief come to steal, kill, and destroy? But I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. See, a lot of people forget about that second part. That I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So this first song we're going to be doing is called Bring That Pressure. 
So we know that the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. We know all that. That's who he is. That's his purpose. That's his mission. But us as believers in Christ, we ought to bring that pressure. The same pressure he bring on us, we got to flip that and bring it on him. See, when he coming against your family, your friends, your health, your finances, that should motivate you to pray harder. That should motivate, motivate you to get in your word even more. So, y'all, we're going to have a Holy Ghost party. Y'all turn up with us today. Hallelujah. Hey. Yeah. We about to bring that pressure. Yeah, we do it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we get to it. That's how. your mind on the things of God. That's what's going to keep you out of trouble. Look, man, I was just in school a few years ago. I'm 21 years old. And, and I look back and I see how, how fast those years flew by. And I wish I would have took God more serious way early in my life. Because there's a lot of things that I've seen that I didn't have to see if I would have just followed him in the first place. If I would have just yielded my heart to him in the first place. The Bible says we do things that we don't like to do. But the things we should do, we don't do it. It ain't even about us being out here, us coming all the way from Baton Rouge to talk to y'all. It's really important that you get your own personal relationship with Christ in the times we're living in right now. See, even right now in this Western world, a lot of people don't even know we're at war. This world starting off at World War. We got a lot of things going on that the Bible said would happen. Wars, famines, people hating each other. The love of many growing wax cold. You got people sinning with no conviction, even increasing. Now, this is the time to choose whose side you're going to be on. Because yeah. I promise you, it don't matter what age you is, how old you is. As long as you got that understanding of right and wrong, God is going to judge you accordingly. Yes, sir. Kids, hear me out. It don't matter if your parents go to church, if your grandparents parent praying. You got to do that for yourself. Because one day they may not be here to do that for you. So when they not here, who else you going to look to? God. So why not start now? Don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait too long. Don't look at your friends, what they doing and what they got going on. Because at the end of the day, it's going to be you and God. Not you and your mama. Not you and your brother. Not you and your sister. So take this seriously. Amen. Amen. Come on, give Jesus a hand, y'all. Yes, Listen to me. Exactly what my son might say, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. We don't tell y'all nothing else. Brothers and sisters, we're in the last days. Jesus Christ is getting ready to come back. The Bible is fulfilling itself as we speak to this day. They've been saying for years, they've been saying Christ was going to come. They've been saying he was going to come. But guess what? He couldn't have fulfilled itself until now. Every person that is hurting for some sin, for something that stuck with him for a long time, today is your day of healing. Like the kids, can he sins? No, he don't like it. When I talk about the Lord, you know I get excited. He can feel me hurting, know he working up in private. You are your daily purchase, see your baby crying. Like the kids, can he sins? No, he don't like it. Go, 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 
going about it. I'ma just tell you, three years ago I didn't see myself doing gospel rap because I was living a life completely contrary to the will of God. Like the song said, I was doing drugs, I was hanging with the wrong crowds, with the wrong environments, tied in with gang activities, having sex, whenever I feel like it. But when I got introduced to the love of Christ, that stuff started convicting me. And slowly the Lord started to purge me. He started to heal me from those things that I was finding love from. You know, when people smoke and people do everything that, that they feel like will fill that void, they running from some, running to something that will never fill that void. And they don't find it out until years later. Why? Because they keep on getting uh, drawn to that dopamine. But Christ, he filled that love completely. His love is a love that carries over from this world to a better life afterwards. And, and so many people don't know what the love of God is like because they're blinded. They're distracted. They're chasing it in all the wrong things. In all the wrong people. But the Lord, he's saying, I will love you better than anyone to ever love you. Yeah. Remember this, especially young people. Lust is not love. Somebody hear that again. Lust is not love. Is Look, y'all queens, don't be giving your body to know anybody. Just because they come up to you and tell you you're beautiful, you're pretty, you know, you got to know what love is. Because look, if somebody can't love God, they're not going to be able to love you right. If they don't got a relationship with God, they're not going to be able to have a right relationship with you. So prioritize God. This next song is called Do You Know Love? And I, for a long time, I didn't know love. But I got introduced to the love of God. And from there, I seen what love was really meant to be. How you was really supposed to live life of love. You supposed to forgive those who hurt you. You know, some of us dealing with people that hurt us and we still ain't let go yet. Now's the time to let go. Because look, it's not just for you. It's not just for them, but it's for you. When you forgive somebody, now you can grow. Now you're releasing the chain so where you can be who God called you to be. So for this next song, I need everybody to vibe with me. This is our last one. We're going to close out. I need y'all to have y'all hands up like this. If you really want true love, a love that can heal you, a love that will always fill you, will always fill you and never leave you abandoned. A love that will never reject you. A love that accepts you how you are. That's the love of God. A love that overlook a multitude of sin. So this song is called Do You Know Love? And if you don't, I pray by the night you would. Everybody, this is this for everybody. Everybody lift your hands. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Lead me. Guide me to your will, to your plan for my life. Lord Jesus, reveal to me what true love really is so I can love your creation how you intended for them to be loved. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless y'all.